Is long hair something that I'm going to want to keep forever? I haven't done a hair video in a while, so I thought it was about time I did one. It's been about 14 months since I started growing my hair out, and I feel like I've got to a point now where I can safely say that I'm someone who has long hair. I do love having long hair. Maybe not how it looks today, I normally have it tied up. But it's not always sunshine and rainbows. It does drive me absolutely mad at times. Because of this, I thought I'd make a video talking about the pros and cons of having long hair. For those of you who may be just starting out on the journey yourself, or for those of you who are thinking about doing it. I think I'm gonna start with the pros first because I don't wanna put all of you off straight away. The first pro is an obvious one, but I've saved money on haircuts and I've also saved on trips to the hairdressers and I hate going to the hairdressers. I love the feeling of a fresh haircut, but I just find the whole thing so awkward. I never know where to look, and I just can't wait to get out of there and get home. Anyway, I've saved about 400 pounds over the 14 months by not going to the hairdressers, and I know it doesn't sound like a huge amount over 14 months, but it all adds up. I used to mess around with my hair way too much. I was always putting my hands through it, and it got to the point where people were starting to make comments on it saying, stop messing with your hair so much. Now, because I wear it tied up so much, I don't want to knock it out of place, so I try and touch it as little as possible. So if you're someone who messes with their hair too much, this might be a great style for you to go for. Also, if you can't be bothered to style your hair or you don't know how to style your hair, then the man bun is an absolute savior. It's so quick to do and it always looks really good in my opinion. To me, having long hair looks effortlessly cool. When you've got short back and sides, that's pretty much all you've got, short back and sides. With long hair, you have the option of wearing it down in a number of different ways, and you can also wear it up in a number of different ways. There's so many different styles that I haven't even tried yet with my hair that I really need to get onto, but the best thing about it is I don't need to have a trip to the hairdresser to get new styles with my hair. I can just do them from the comfort of my own home. Maybe some plaits will be going into this soon, who knows? The next pro is that you stand out more because not a lot of men have long hair, so you're definitely gonna stand out. People have made comments on my hair. Some people don't like it, but you're never gonna please everyone, but the majority of people do like the new look. And it's nice to receive compliments on my hair because I never got compliments on my hair when I had short back and sides. The other thing I've noticed is it definitely becomes a part of you and part of your character and it's definitely helped my confidence. Now it's time to move on to the cons. There are plenty more pros of having long hair, but those are the main ones that I wanted to focus on for this video. But yeah, let's get into the bad stuff now. The first con and the most annoying con is that it does get in the way a lot. This was definitely a lot worse when I couldn't tie my hair up. Now when I'm doing stuff like sport, I just tie my hair up and it doesn't get in the way at all. The only time it gets really annoying now is when I'm sleeping and when I roll over in bed and it just falls in front of my face. Sometimes this even wakes me up. I'm a really light sleeper. But yeah, that can get very irritating. The next con is that drying it takes absolutely ages, even with a hairdryer. When I had short back and sides, I'd hop out the shower, get dressed, and by the time I'd finished getting dressed, my hair would be dry. Now, if I leave my hair to dry, it takes absolutely ages, but I have to use a hairdryer now and it still takes a good 10 minutes. So if you're in a rush in the morning, this can get really annoying. Your hair sheds all the time anyway, but when you have short hair, you notice it far less. So the longer your hair is, you just start to notice it all over the place. The shower gets clogged up more, there's more hairs in my bed, there's more hair on my clothes, or more noticeable hair on my clothes anyway. But it's not really something that bothers me that much. It takes seconds to clean, but it's definitely something that you don't have to deal with when you have shorter hair. The next con is that I can't wear hats as easily anymore, and I loved wearing hats. I know you can wear your hair down with a hat still, or even tied up still, but I personally don't like the look as much as when I had short hair on me. So it's goodbye to hats for now, but luckily I have enough hair to cover my ears to keep me warm for the winter, so I should be all right. The next con is some people do look at it as being a bit more untidy or more unprofessional. For example, if you're going to a black tie event or a job interview, for example, 
your employer might see your long hair as being a bit untidy and a bit unprofessional. Long hair or a bun looks great with a suit anyway, but if you're going for that really sharp James Bond kind of look, yeah, the short back and sides definitely look neater. The other thing is, is because I wear my hair tied back a lot, my head does start to ache and I do get a bit of a headache by the end of the day. This is due to the tension that's caused on your scalp when you have your hair scraped back and tied back. It just pulls on your scalp a bit. But yeah, this is only after long periods of wear, so it doesn't really bother me too much, but it is lovely to get back home and let your hair down. Even though there's more cons than pros in this video, the cons aren't enough and they don't bother me enough to make me want to get a haircut. Is long hair something that I'm going to want to keep forever? No, because I like to change things up. I get bored very easily and I know I will want short hair again in the future. That could be in a couple of months or it could be in a couple of years. But right now, I'm really enjoying having long hair and I'm aiming to still grow it. If you enjoyed the video and you also like fashion and lifestyle content, then hit subscribe because I make videos every week on the channel. Do give the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you hated it but you feel like helping me out anyway, then a like would be much appreciated. But anyway, thank you for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!